Welcome to Gaming Instincts. Here are 20 pro tips you need to know before playing Serious Sam, Siberian Mayhem. Tip number one. If a kamikaze gets close to you, don't forget that you can sprint away. This was previously impossible in the classic titles and was added in Serious Sam 3 before First Encounter in 2011, but it is easy to forget that it actually exists. Tip number two. Spec into dual wielding the two-handed weapons such as the double barrel shotgun. This will make fighting certain enemies like the werebulls easier. Tip number three. Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem has a new weapon that replaces the assault rifle from Serious Sam 4, and that is the AK-47. The AK-47 is best used when you tap fire it as opposed to holding the attack button. Holding the attack button will make the bullets go around the enemy instead of their hitboxes. You can tap fire by holding on the left mouse button for a second or two and then let it go and do it again. This is a useful method for taking out smaller targets in the air, like the harpies, or from far distances such as the kamikaze, clear, regular soldiers, or snipers from far distances. Tip number 4. If you're in deep trouble, make sure to make use of your time warped gadget. It will slow down the time for quite a long period and let you do some cleansing of the enemies in the meantime. Very useful on higher difficulties such as Sirius. Tip number 5. In Serious Sam games, it's best to take out the enemies that are closest to you rather than the ones that are further away from you. If you go for the long distance enemies first, you'll get overwhelmed and killed. Tip number 6. Take out the Allogen Reptiloids as soon as they spawn. They are priority targets. Yes, while our previous tip did say take out the closest enemies to you, there are some exceptions to the rule. Their homing green balls of death will kill faster than you can say Serious Sam 10 times in a row. Tip number 7. The new crossbow weapon in Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem is a really powerful weapon. Not only can you snipe targets from afar with headshots for massive damage, but you can also line up a bunch of enemies in a straight line and kill them all with a single shot, assuming they are low health targets, and you perfectly aim at the head. Tip number 8. Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem features a ton of open-ended areas throughout the levels. Make sure to go off the beaten path to find some crazy cool secrets. Tip number 9. The minigun is best used when you are strafing from left to right or vice versa. Tip number 10. The cannon is one of the best weapons if not the best weapons for self-defense. Line up your enemies to pull some sick bowling skills. It works extremely well for a whole straight line of werebulls. Tip number 11. Always clear all the waves of enemies in the area before you go on exploring and looking for secrets. Tip number 12. Use a double barrel shotgun to one-shot clears when they get close to you. Dual wield them if you wish to kill one right after the other to avoid the reload while the other one is reloading. Tip number 13. Spamming good rocket placements is a great way to clear large hordes of kamikazes due to splash damage and adjacent explosions. Tip number 14. The new laser cannon is also great for self-defense and will vaporize whatever is in front of you. It does take a bit longer on larger targets but still helpful, so Serious Sam Stone can get more breathing room for the rest of the hordes. Tip number 15. Use your nuke gadget to get out of trouble when overwhelmed by enemies. Tip number 16. Shoving two giant cannonballs into the tower's weak spot will end up destroying it. Tip number 17. You can kick the beheaded soldiers for quick and easy kills if there are a few of them left over by coming up to them and pressing the melee button. Tip number 18. Use single rocket shots to destroy enemies that have the energy shields. Tip number 19. Some secrets will also be traps, so be ready to whip out your best defensive guns and find the spawning spot to make quick work of the enemies. And finally, tip number 20, you can switch to third person at any time by pressing H on your keyboard to get a whole new perspective and see enemies from all sides. And this has been 20 pro tips about Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem from Gaming Instincts. To get more guides, pro tips, and more from Gaming Instincts, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.